Hello everybody! Today I would like to show you a sneak peek of the beta version of the new inserted panel. The inserted panel is part of the new management software for current inserting systems. What you're about to see is job announcement, job processing and job termination. My name is Bea Dietsch. Enjoy! Alright, we're now over in PowerPoint. Before I will show you the screenshots of the inserted panel, I would like to show you two slides about the architecture. Here we go. Um, at the very top, you see the workflow management part. This is a third party software that handles the process such as composing, sorting, stream creation, etc. To maintain a closed loop between the workflow software components and the current environment, one of the tasks is the creation of target files for validation. Once the job gets announced, the current environment takes this file and uses this information for visualization purposes. Below, you see the three most used software components, floor monitor, reporter, and workplace in the current environment. Those three software components are getting in its age, and we have decided to combine floor monitor and workplace and make this the inserted panel. To install the inserted panel or the whole MF operations in the future, we use the existing environment without touching any of the current defined processes. Especially in the beta stage, this architecture becomes handy. In case there is missing functionality, the alt software components still will do the job. Okay, here's the new job announcement screen. There are two groups of jobs to announce, the pending ones and the last process jobs. The whole screen is supposed to be a visual help for the machine operator. It should be simpler and more intuitive to announce the jobs. Therefore, we brought in the priority field. By clicking the priority tab, the list gets sorted. Now the machine operator sees the jobs with the highest priority on the top. The selection is made easier in this case. Before jumping to the next slide, I would like to mention the fact that we still can work with a hand scanner or header and trailer sheets for job announcement. However, once the job is announced, the system will display a setup screen. Here we get to see a summary of the job that will be processed later. There are the numbers and types of enclosures and envelopes to be processed on the left-hand side. And in case there is stack ID, the code is visualized too. There's some empty space on the right-hand side that can be used for additional information. Two examples. Number one, additional instructions for the machine operator about the machine to set up. This would be typically text. Number two, photos of the enclosures and envelopes to be processed in case there is no stack ID. So once the machine is set up, the machine will start the job or the machine operator will start the job and we will get to the next screen. Here we see on the upper left part, the details of the job with the progress, the job size, the throughput, etc. Right below, there are top five incidents that happened since the machine started this job segment. We as Kern, we believe by reducing the top five errors, the efficiency will increase by 80%. There is a new function. The operator can switch between count and duration, meaning how many times did the incident occur or how long was the total time to the right-hand side, the machine operator sees a list of all divert mail pieces. If needed, and allowed of course, the mail pieces can be manually corrected from bad to good. At the end of a job, the software displays a summary over mail pieces, sheets, and the different times. The most important number is under mail pieces, the bad ones. The number shows eight. The machine operator can cross-check the physical mail pieces against the digital ones. If this number matches, everything's fine, and the machine operator can now announce the next job. 
I'm at the end of my presentation. Thanks for watching. If you should have any questions, just reach out to me. For now, I say goodbye.